welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of first impressions. I am featuring the Physicians Formula Butter Collection collaboration with Casey Holmes. So I just think that this is such a nice collection. It comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter, eyeshadows, a lippy, and a little perfume, and everything smells like coconut, so you honestly can't go wrong. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look and what other products I'm using for the first time, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with the face and then do the eyes. I already primed my skin with a normal primer. I don't have a new one today. I think that and the eyebrow products are the only things that I don't have new and maybe a lip pencil and an eyeliner. But otherwise, everything that I'm using is going to be a first impression. The first thing I'm gonna use is foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Linen. And I'm pretty sure that this is a new foundation. I picked it up at Ulta this weekend. It is a glass bottle and it does have a pump, so that's nice. It's actually kind of a nice little bottle. So I am going to pop this on my face. This actually might be a decent color for me. This is supposed to be 24 hour wear and it's supposed to be... Oh, it has like a scent. It has like a fresh scent, you know? Breathable, buildable coverage. We shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty blender to blend that in. Ooh, it has a very fresh scent though. I can smell it. So if you're like big on scents, cause I don't really mind scents, but wow, this is like fresh, yeah. It's definitely lightweight. Don't feel like I feel it. It looks pretty good. It's not like the smoothest. Kind of emphasizing texture a little bit but it's really not bad actually I can see my skin it's very natural I bet this would be nice for like work because it gives you some color correction but it's not like super heavy all right I'm gonna try to do another layer and see how buildable it is and I'm taking about two and a half pumps on the back of my hand. It does oxidize a little bit. You can see the color difference. So keep that in mind. Maybe go a little bit lighter. I would say that that built the coverage up a little bit and it still doesn't feel heavy. Like I said, you can still see my skin, but I think that it did build up a a little bit after that second layer. So for concealer, I'm actually using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory. Oh, it's got a big doe foot. Kind of like the shape tape. Ooh, okay. It's kind of like creamy feeling. It doesn't feel thick. It has a little smell too, but not like the foundation. I'm gonna put this on my lids too. We're gonna try it out as an eyeshadow base. All right, let's go in with our beauty blender. Wow, that blended really smooth. Did you see me? I just like went over it once and it was like blended. Good coverage, decent color. Yeah, that blended out really nicely on that foundation. So here's my skin before I set it. It's like a fresh kind of skin finish, like a satin finish, I guess you could call it. 
but it looks more like skin. It's not glowy, but it's definitely not flat matte. I think it looks pretty good on my chin. Under the eyes. It's not like even creasing that bad. I haven't said it yet. Okay. All right, so we will see how that goes. I'm trying out a new setting powder today. I have the Palladio Rice Powder in Translucent. And it does come with like a little puff. I am gonna try baking with this. But not like a heavy bake. Hmm. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure if that's the powder or the foundation concealer combo. That looks pretty good. So now that my face is set, I am moving on to bronzer. For that, I am using the Physicians Formula Butter Collection. This is a collaboration with Casey Holmes. So this is what the inside looks like. She looks freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait. So we have the butter bronzer in deep. We have a blush called Copper Cabana. And we have a butter highlight that is a limited edition. It's called Just Peachy. And then we have four eyeshadow colors down here, a lippy and a perfume. Let me tell you, this smells so good. It smells like coconut and I am super excited to dig in. So I am gonna take that Butter Bronzer in Deep on my Morphe R2 and I'm gonna bronze up the skin. Ooh, it smells good. These are like really soft powders too, so just be kind of careful when you put your brush in. Just be very gentle. I'm just gonna go in with a BH Cosmetics large shader brush, and I'm gonna bronze up my nose real quick. All right, I'm just gonna blend that really quick with a large dual fiber brush. Ooh, that looks good. Chiseled. Okay, we're gonna move on to blush. I'm using my Sigma E40, and I'm gonna go in with that blush, the Copper Cabana blush. Ooh. Wow, that's pretty. Ooh, that looks good. I like that blush. Love a good blush. Said it in my last video, I love a good blush. Okay, with a Morphe M510, I'm gonna go in with Just Beachy, the highlight right here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Holy crap. I'm just gonna dab that in my beauty blender a little bit. It kinda helps. Okay, I think that's really pretty, but it's a little chunky, like it's a little glittery chunky. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera really quick, and I'm gonna zoom you in so we can do our eyes. So here's a little close up of my skin. I did get my brows done, but I forgot that I do have this Claudio Brow Obsessed Brow Building Mousse with Fibers in medium dark. So, okay, not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Look at the packaging. So just keep that in mind. It's a little brown. Okay, I think that may have like a little bit thicker. I don't know like what is going on over here, but we're just gonna ignore that, okay? So we're gonna move on to eyes now. I am using the Butter Collection. So the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one here. This shade is called Do Not Disturb and I'm just gonna set my lid with this. Make sure we got a nice base. This is a nice shade. Nice shade for all over the lid. 
Now with a Morphe M532, I'm gonna take no filter right here. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. Woo! Wow, she's pigmented. It's very red. You know, like a reddy brown. Still pretty. Very pigmented. Nice shade. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and just kinda blend that out. And then with a Morphe M433, I'm gonna take Tropic Like It's Hot. And again, these are very soft shadows. They're pigmented. So just be careful when you dip in. You really don't need a lot. I'm just gonna kinda deepen that crease up a little. I'm not gonna lie, these shades are kinda similar, but they do look pretty different on the eye, and they blend really nicely together, so I guess I can't complain too much. They're like basically the same color. They do look different on the eye. My freaking eyes are so weird. Like this one's always like so blended, and this one's like, oh, is that lines? Whatever. It's not the eyeshadow, I promise. It's my freaking eyes. Back in with that clean brush, just to clean that up. Then I'm gonna take that first shade that we used. I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid, kind of like a cut crease. It's a good shade, man. You don't even need concealer. I'm gonna go in with that M433 and just blend really quick. I don't want this to be like super noticeable. Then with my MAC 242 brush, I'm gonna dig into that highlight shade. And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid as well. Wow. Woo! Dang. That's so pretty. And I'm just gonna blend that a little. Dang, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone in the inner corner with that same highlight shade and like a flat shader brush. So my under eye is looking a mess and it's either the powder or the concealer. Alright, I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm starting with a BH Cosmetics small crease brush and that no filter shade. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Then before I do any more shadow, I'm going to go in with the NYX Slide On Glide On Eye Pencil in Esmeralda. And I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Okay, now that the green liner is down, I'm gonna go ahead and take a very small BH Cosmetics brush and palms, palms. And I'm gonna put this up against my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna also take that same shade on a little round brush. This is a Luxie 141. And I'm gonna buff that just to kind of blend it and smooth it out. Teeny bit of fallout. And then I'm gonna take that small crease brush again and blend. Ooh, I love that green shade. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try a new mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. And I'm really digging this eye look, so if this mascara goes well, I'm probably gonna leave it. Huh. Okay. It has a weird shaped wand, but I like the spikes. Really kind of left them up. I am not patient enough to do mascara well. You know? So 
So after everything was said and done, I actually do like the mascara. I think it makes my lashes look long and nice. So I'm not gonna do false lashes. I did do my hair. I used the 32 millimeter wand from the Numi Octa wand. Ooh, so pretty. I will leave a link to the curling iron that I use below. So we're gonna move on to lips. I am just going to use a NYX lip liner really quick to line my lips before I use the lippy from the Casey Holmes Physicians Formula Butter Collection. So for the lippy, I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Mirror Mirror Butter, and this is in the shade Pop the Bubbly. Mmm. Hydrating. Wow. Ooh, that's a pretty color, actually. It smells pretty good. Okay, so the last thing is to set my face. I have this new Palladio Forever and Ever Makeup Setting Spray, and this is the matte one. I'm gonna shake it up. Spray it. Mmm, that smells good. It's kind of wet, but it didn't like make any marks in my makeup. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Ooh, I think it turned out pretty. Full face of first impressions. I think I did pretty good. I love the Butter Collection collaboration with Casey Holmes. The eyeshadow is gorgeous. The highlight is so pretty. The blush and the bronzer and the lippy, I'm living for it. I also love the highlight on the lid. I think that is so pretty. I'm actually really liking the foundation. I think it looks pretty good. I think I wanna try a different powder under my eyes or maybe not as much of the powder that I used. So I will be trying out this concealer and foundation combo a little bit more and I will probably be doing a wear test just to see how it looks on my oily skin. It is more of like a fresh foundation so it's not really oily and it's not really dry either. So we shall see how it goes. But I actually really like how this turned out. I love the green on the lower lash line. Like what a fun little pop of color. I love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of first impressions. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Chotty bye.